Sets them back in motion. So Asava Radikalia, it would be interesting to see how much time he spends as the Ruckman, number one Ruckman tonight for the Cats. Mitch Duncan, a welcome return. Up to Gary Rowan, good pace to try and get past the man, and he does. And then delivers beautifully for Close. So Brad Close, that's taken all of 33 seconds for him to get his first mark in AFL football. Stephen Wells loves a bit of a smoky from South Australia. Brad Close, almost 22 years of age. Works his way in. That is not, not even close to missing. It's right through the middle. What a start to his career. See, that's not a great start, is it? Darcy, Darcy Tucker. Tucker. Oh, Darcy Tucker coming off, holding the hammy by the looks of it. Yeah, right hamstring issue for Darcy Tucker. You can see the jacket going on. Well, it's no certainty at this stage. <laughs> Jake Collajasny has played 97 games without a goal. Oh. As the rain tumbles down, he's presented with oh. the chance oh, no. to kick his first. <laughs> and he knew it. He stabbed at it, didn't he? He didn't, he didn't kick through it all. That's a man without the confidence. I think no. he was thinking about the celebration going all the way to the <laughs> full back again. Rowan fights a pretty good fight and then found Buse at the back. Simpson turns quickly. He kicked as if he had a man to go to. Hawkins. Close is ready. Close is there. And he's. Oh no. He's missed as well. Oh boy, that's a let off. Yeah, he, sh he shinned it. Now Tui from the pocket. Set up, kick to the top of the square. Hawkins tries not to give away a kick. That's how you do it, says Mitch Duncan. He scores. So they, they certainly need this goal. Right now, they're a chance to eclipse that. Michael Frederick kicked a goal on debut last week and sadly can't do it here. Yes, Fogarty takes it for Geelong. He's trying something. I think he was going for blitz arms. He gets it eventually and then returns the favour to Duncan, who tried to sum it up. He's gone for a cross. Oh. And Hawkins reckons he's got it. He's celebrating. Yep. Just touches just it, I think. Total. I think he just touches <laughs> it. The barest of toenails. <laughs> and they're all so precious. High kick forward. Extra insurance at the back with Stewart, but he, he leaves it to Buse to put the tackle on Banfield, who's nifty enough to get the handball away to Walters. Here's an opportunity for Tabernacle. Closing in on three-quarter time. This for the Dockers' first goal of the night. And unbelievably, it would oh. give them a chance. Now the chase is on. O'Connor had a little look around, and he was able to shake off Banfield. Impressive play by the Irishman. He went for goal. Maybe he went for Hawkins. He found Hawkins anyway. He's had great support throughout the night, Ryan. I think they've handled the situation the best they possibly could. Fremantle in terms of protecting their... Oh, what a kick from Tom Hawkins. What a goal. Oh, clever from Myers to Dangerfield. Tui, and a goal. They edge it closer to the square. Rowan, a bit of a shove on Watson. And Hawkins gets another off the ground. A couple of toe pokes. Tom Hawkins with the left leg. Find it hard to get it out. Constable, close. Out to Parfit with a bit of a wind up mini goal. Up. He's hit that pretty well under the circumstances, and he loves it. Buse scrambles it out of there. Sarong. Back it again, so wrong, so right! <laughs> He's put it through, oh no! So the siren sounds on one of the dampest nights of football. It rained from start to finish and Geelong dominated for most of that time.